Uh. Happy Halloween, motherfuckers! Hey. Beautiful. I know, right? That was beautiful. Welcome back again to the Storm Shed Reactions. We are here on a special Halloween episode while our chestnuts are actually roasting over a heater. Uh, we got a Storm Shed thing going on because we got stormed in by the goddamn snow on Halloween. And it's a beautiful full moon. And for those of you that don't know, we are in Salem, Massachusetts, so uh, mm -hmm. it's quite... Happy witches. Happy witches. Happy huh. witches. Is that a saying? <laughs> it's not a saying, folks. We don't say that around here. And I don't say folks a lot. I think that's the first time I've ever called you folks. But, yes, we are in the storm shed. Happy we witch party and or witch, some shit. Witch, witch, <laughs> I thought you were say witch hunting. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so apparently you know what day it is. It's fucking Halloween. It's and Halloween. we're in the storm shed, so we figured we'd do some, maybe some Rob Zombie. So Rob Zombie's got a new song out. It just, like, from yesterday? Came out yesterday. He's got a new album called out the, uh, the Black. Lunar Kool-Aid Kool Eclipse Experiment. Some shit. I don't know. There's a lot of words in his, uh. Rob Zombie has some goofy shit coming out. Okay. Anyways, he debuted a new song. Uh, yeah. And um, the song is called... Here, here, Here's the name of the song before we tell you. The song is called The Triumph of King Freak, A Crypt of Preservation and Supremacy. Okay. Those are fun words. And it comes off the album... The Lunar Injection Kool-Aid Eclipse Conspiracy. Something to do with cults? I'm assuming. It's Rob Zombie. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. He's probably saying don't drink the Kool-Aid. It probably had something to do with the Lunar Landing. I don't know. It's fucking Rob Even Zombie. It's not poisoned. It's like so I mean, much, he wrote a, so much He shit. wrote an album called Astro Creep 2000. He wrote a lot of weird words. But, and um, so we're going to watch a video, a new song from him. And nine times out of ten, Sherry Muzani, zombie, sorry, will be in a video by him. And let's see if she's actually in this video for once. And if she is, we're going to do a Sherry Mood zombie count. <laughs> so, guys, here is Rob Zombie with whatever the fuck it's called. Punch something. King Freak. King Freak. All right. The triumph of King Freak. Triumph. <laughs> That was a fun song. Oh, he's got John Five still playing for him. That's cool. Some might be actually good then. John Five. Hey, Rob Zombie's good. It's just yeah, Rob Zombie don't play instruments though. I know. I, I'm saying like the, the concept of, of the band. It's just sometimes it gets old. We'll see. I haven't heard him in a long time. I right, think you do by me. Still ripping off Al Driggis from Ministry. With the cowboy hat and dreads. I like the drums though. I got that old 90s industrial feel, I like that. I like it. Actually sounds like the old Rob Zombie, White Zombie stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, it, it is like very white zombie. I, I I really like this for Rob Zombie solo stuff because I haven't liked Rob Zombie solo stuff since uh, Hell Billy Deluxe, his first solo record. And uh, the one after that, I forgot what it's called. Um, my ex-wife loved it, but it was a great, a great record. Um, I can't remember the name, but this I like. You know, um, it's more industrial. It's more '90s driven. It's more Halloween, like Rob Zombie used to be. You know, what do you think, man? I mean, like, yeah, I was gonna say like it does like bring me back to White Zombie a little bit more. But uh, even the video itself, I know you guys can't see it, but. Uh, on this particular episode, but uh, I encourage you to go listen to it, uh, watch it. Uh, it's it's very old school, Rob Zombie, like like that weird, like even even like his directing in movies comes out in this right now. But it's yeah, and the video wise, it does. But I'm loving the music. It it the takes me good. back. It, it kind of it's kind of got of a. I'm not blown away, but it's good. It's got like a Ministries Industrial Nine Inch Nails. Feel like what White Zombie was doing when they uh, back in 1992, 93, 94, you know, with uh, you know, uh, for the that one they had the one album was Sex or Sister, then the album they had after that was Astro Creep. This is more of Astro Creep, and I like that. Let's go. Some on. Dude, from the Dude, I know that's John Five, and I like how he's doing that stoner metal vibe right there. I like that. That's new for Rob Zombie throwing some stoner metal in there. They always have a DJ, like no, I never, Zombie's never that's had weird. a DJ. Sounds like fucking. I know, but he does now. I mean, it's maybe experimentation of the song. Not bad about it. Really. I, no, no, I like, like it. I never heard it. It's definitely not new metal. <laughs> no, this is totally. Old- this is all right. I like this. This I is. I have a few things to say also, but. I mean, I didn't mind the record scratch. I, I didn't either, but you know what? It's like his brother. Oh, Spider fucking Spider Power from 5, Power Man 5000. Yeah. It, it kind of got that This is like a squirrel collide. Like they had that limp yeah, limp, it did. Like it did have that Limp Biscuit Power Man 5000. Yeah. <laughs> but like, just shit. Like, I'm yeah. not mad about it. It's still a good song. So but dude, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to lie, dude. Uh, for real, um, you know me, I'm more into underground metal and shit. And, yeah. uh, I mean,. And, you know, I grew up on White Zombie when they were cool and before they started to suck and become commercial. But this is fucking good. I like this. It's, it kind of takes me back to those days, you know, where I'm out smoking a joint. Like, it's, like, it's good fall music, too. It's good Halloween music. I like this. So let's keep it going. So look at his name. I see he's bringing back some of the old props from his old videos in here. He's always he's done the Randy Savage. He's not so many Randy Savage. No, he, he's always done the <laughs> Cowboy. He's snapping to his he, he did look like that. <laughs> no, he kind of looked like Chris Barnes from 1600. I'm pretty sure he directed the video. He looks like it. I wouldn't be surprised. All right. All right. Well, dudes, um, that was Rob Zombie's new song and video called King Freak. And uh, what'd you think, dude? I think I said what I think. It was good overall. I wasn't disappointed. You, you know the main thing I loved about this video? You want to know? You want to hear it? Right. Shamu Zombie is nowhere in fucking sight! Yeah, well, it's, 
Thank fucking Satan. Imagine the amount of restraint it took him to... Oh, my no. God. Seriously. A Rob Zombie video without his fucking wife in it. Ladies and gentlemen, history has been made today. Rob Zombie did a video without his fucking wife in it. Let's hope his next movie doesn't have her in it either. It's good for Halloween. Happy Halloween, by the yeah, way. Yeah, happy fucking Halloween. Happy Sam Hain. Happy So Looked. With, that's Norsk. For Sam Hain. Happy, uh, happy day. Happy October 31st, or whenever you're listening to this. We're here at Storm Shed. Alright? Bring us candy. Be safe. Uh, oh, mm. Wear a fucking mask. When you go out. And, uh, yeah, kind of don't nice. forget... To subscribe to our Patreon channel. We don't have one. We don't need your money. I mean, wait. We subscribe don't to need our YouTube channel. Did I just say we don't need your money? <laughs> we don't need your money, but... It, it See, can... I'm going through withdrawals. We're no, going through withdrawals. We up, need subscribers. Not... Stop. We have no subscribers. I'm gonna, I, give you're me some pandering. subscribers, man. Give me some, give me some subscribers, man. At least get him a blanket. Look I'm at paying, him. I'm paying. I'm paying. We need subscribers. We don't even have costumes. I know, right? <laughs> Later, fuckers. Uh, yeah, what?